Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is going to be a love reading about your person and what they secretly want to tell you. So we'll try to suss out what's in the cards, what's coming up around their secret thoughts and feelings. So let's jump into it. Um, this can be for Earth Signs or to the cross watchers dealing with an Earth Sign. This can be for you. Okay, strong Aries coming through, Aries and Pisces over on this side. Ace of Cups, the Emperor of the Tower. Um, straight away, I, what comes to mind is there's someone here who wants you back or wants a new beginning with you. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it's someone that's still in a state of devastation or shock for losing you or disconnecting with you, Earth signs. Um, they're still thinking about you. So very likely that this could be an X. Page of Cups, Pisces energy has come up twice. So it could be a water sign here, or it could be someone who hasn't gotten over you emotionally. They, they still have some sort of fantasy. Pisces is fantasy. They have a fantasy of getting back with you, or they have a fantasy of proposing to you, or they have a fantasy of reconnecting again. They're too stubborn to say it right now, but with the Emperor, these, these are consistent thoughts. <clears throat> okay, Queen of Pentacles is reversed. And Page of Wands reversed. So, you could be giving off vibes, because you've come up as the Queen of Pentacles. You could be giving off vibes to them that you're not ready for commitment. Um, or you could be giving vibes that you're unavailable. So I'm, I'm, I think I'm picking up an ex here, to be honest. I think I'm picking up someone that <clears throat> wants you um, or has had some sort of history with you. You know, it's hard to say. You might have been married. It might have been a brief relationship. It was enough for them to attach to you, Earth Signs. But they're, they're getting a vibe that you're not as invested or you're not as available as they are. With the Tower card, this is like something that was devastating or chaotic. So they could be devastated about something. <clears throat> Maybe they found out you're dating someone new. They found out you're engaged. They found out that you are losing interest in them. Okay, no longer invested. You know, and it's, it's bad for their ego. They're not doing too well. They're not coping too well. Now, I mean, the Tower card, it can be something that happened outside of your connection. There might be some health things going on. There might be some work stuff going on um, that are having a devastating impact on this person's mind. And they're not in a position yet where they want to tell you. Maybe they don't want to worry you. Maybe they feel like they can't tell you. Maybe they've thought about telling you, but they haven't as yet. I mean, if they're feeling like the Queen of Pentacles, it could be like money worries. It could be someone here who feels like they don't make enough money or they can't take care of you the way you want to be taken care of. You know, money's a big thing in relationships. Uh, more often than not, it's finance and money that couples fight about. <clears throat> you know, split over, competitive over, all those sorts of things. I wonder if that's bugging this person here money assets wealth especially if you come from different classes one of you makes more money you come from a more privileged background maybe that's the devastating blow the impact there's i mean pisces energy twice so i think there's like unrealistic fantasies and thoughts coming up they're possibly being unrealistic about something. Um, 
what also comes to mind is that they they're changing their mind a lot there's fickle energy the fish is fickle it changes its mind very quickly so emotionally they're not feeling stability with you right now they're not appearing that way though with the emperor there i think they're appearing like <clears throat> cool calm and confident about it but deep down may not be as confident as 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 what they're projecting i also get <clears throat> Page of Wands reversed, but the tower is here. I get that there may have been something that happened with this person. Like an encounter of something that may not necessarily be their fault. Now, the Page of Wands is known to be a reckless figure. He sometimes gets involved and is flirty and can be deceitful, cheeky, okay? But he's reversed. So I think something happened to this person. It's not something they directly did. And they may be secret, uh, they may be, you know, fearful of telling you. For example, maybe someone tried to hit on them. I don't think it was their doing though. I don't think this was page of ones makes me feel like it's something that happened to them rather than something they did. Like someone tried to pick them up or an ex tried to get back in touch with them or someone made up a rumor about them. It's more that something happened to them and they were on the receiving end of it because that's what makes, we you know, with the tower card, the tower card happens to us. It's beyond our control. And we have to be sort of reactive to it. So I think there is something here. And I don't think they're guilty. You know, there's no there's no cards that would point to deception. I don't think they're guilty. But I feel like a part of them feels like they're scared to tell you for some reason. How, how this went down or why it happened or... Something of that nature. Mm, yeah, I think there's... Yeah, there's fear there. Of, of revealing that to you and telling that to you. Okay, I'm also getting Ace of Cups that someone wants to propose with the Tower card. They are really scared to do it, but they want to do it. There is proposal here. Ace of Cups with the Emperor. They want to be your Emperor. <clears throat> they want to be the person to wed you, to marry you, to seal the deal, to lock you down, to be the old ball and chain, as they say. Um, so, you know, this is exciting, Earth Signs. There's someone here who's stepping up. Could be separate from the other things I described, but they, Ace of Cups is like wanting that traditional ceremonial commitment. Maybe they want to renew, uh, renew vet, re, uh, wedding vows. Or they want to get married. They want to get remarried. There's desire here with the Ace of Cups. There could even be someone here from the past that you have broken up with. But you guys had a lengthy history and a strong attachment. And they might want to come back and come back for marriage. When they're coming back, they're coming back for the real deal. It's not the, oh, let's come back slowly, let's breadcrumb them, let's see how we go. It's all or nothing with this person. That's how they're feeling. It's like, I'm going to come back, I'm coming back for good. I mean it, we're moving in, we're getting married, we're doing the X, Y, and Z. So, you know, that's that's nice to see. I think that proves just how committed they are um, and just how serious they are about you uh, and, of course, about your connection. Wow. I think it's something you should get excited about. But let them, you know, let them take the lead. Let them show you. Yes, words are nice, but let them show you how much they want to commit. Let them prove it to you. Uh, I'll leave it at that, Earth Signs. So thank you again so, so much for tuning in. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo and also to the cross watchers. Don't forget to like this video, share of course um, and subscribe to get updates for readings for your sign and your elements. Um, otherwise thank you again for all your support 
and we'll be in touch very soon. So bye for now.